Hello and happy Thursday. It is Miss Hodge here and we are going to continue learning about silent E. We're going to drill the sounds. We're going to look at the difference in the short sound versus the long sound. So let's start with A. A, apple, a. Now let's do the short sound. A, safe, a. E, ed, e. E, peat, e. I, itch, e. I, pine, I. O, octopus, a. O, home, o. U, up, a. U, mule, u. All right, now that we've drilled those um, long vowel sounds versus the short vowel sounds, let's just do a quick review that we're gonna know that when we see silent E on the end of a word, it's going to make the vowel before it say its long vowel sound. One way I like to think about E as far as sneaky E, I like to think about E being a volunteer. E is gonna be a busy letter in the alphabet um, and it's constantly gonna volunteer to help out and when it helps, when it volunteers to help out being a silent E, it's not going to say anything. It's just gonna kinda of be at the end of the word volunteering to help that word change and help that vowel that came just before it be go from being short to long. So let's do an example of that. Let's look at the word hop. Hop. Right now this vowel is making a short sound. Hop. Hop. But if we have an E volunteer to go on the end of this word, let's go ahead and put that on there. It's going to go from making a short sound to making a you got it. Long sound. So let's tap and read it. Hop. Nope. That's wrong, right? Let's try it again. Hope. Hope. I noticed something. When the word was hop, it had three sounds. Hop. But it also had three sounds with hope. 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 Even though it has four letters because we know that E is silent. So let's look at how we would mark this word up. So we know that the O is now saying it's what? Short or long? Very good, it's saying it's long. So we're gonna put a macron over the O to tell it to say it's long vowel sound. Then we need to underline the word and we're gonna mark out the E. Why do you think Miss Hodge marked out the E? Very nice, because it is not making a sound in the word. It's just volunteering, and with its volunteering, it's making O say its long vowel sound. Very good. And then we need to put that there is a vowel right here, so it's an O, and the dash stands for the consonant, and then we're gonna put E. And we need to do this because this helps us go back to one of our videos from a few days ago where I talked about the vowel pattern and how it was very important. Vowel, consonant, E. So we're going to see that. So we're just going to kind of go ahead and mark that we see there is a vowel, consonant, silent E. So when we see this, we're going to go ahead and mark up the word this way. All right, now that we have talked about how to change the word hop, to hope and we've talked about how to code it I want us to do a few more of those together okay so I've written the words cap fat lat and glob we know that we're going to take a letter and add to the end of this and remember which letter I said was going to volunteer a lot you've got it silent E but in this one it's going to be silent E so let's go ahead and read the words after we put an E on the end so I'm going to go ahead and add an E to the end of all of these. And then we're going to reread those. Instead of giving it a short vowel sound, we know that that E is going to volunteer. And when it does, it's able to jump over a consonant 
and tell that vowel to say its long vowel sound, okay? So let's read it with the long vowel sound. K, A, P, Cape, F, A, T, Faint. And remember, we're just gonna keep kind of skipping over it like it's not saying anything because it's silent. L, A, T, Late. Globe, globe. All right, now that we've read all of those with their long vowel sounds, let's code those together. Okay, what is gonna be step one? Very nice. I'm gonna see that there is a vowel consonant silent E, so I'm gonna put a macron over my A to show that it's gonna make the long vowel sound. Then I'm gonna mark out my E because it is silent. Then I'm gonna underline the base word and put vowel dash for the consonant E. Very nice, let's do the next one. All right, what is the first thing I'm gonna pay attention to? Very nice that it has a vowel consonant silent E. So I'm gonna put a macron over my A. I'm gonna put a line through my E because it is silent. Very nice. I'm gonna underline my root word or base word and then I'm gonna write vowel for my long vowel sound, a line for my consonant, and then I'm gonna put an E for my silent E. Pause, I want you to grab a piece of paper and now I want you to write the word late and globe and then I want you to pause the video and I want you to code those real quick on your own and then I want you to push play and you're gonna see if you have the same answers as I do. Wow, that was really quick, are you ready? All right, I'm gonna show you what I have. Ready? One, two, three. All right, if you have the same answers as me, let's see. First, I found my A, and I know that it's long, so I put a macron over it. I crossed out my E because it is silent. I underlined my root word or base word, and I put a vowel line for my consonant, silent E. And then for globe, there was a little more to do. The first thing I noticed was I have a GL, and I know that that is a blend, so I put two lines under it for the blend. Then I put a macron over my O because it's making its long vowel sound. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I crossed out my E for a silent E. I underlined my root word and I put vowel line for my consonant and then my silent E. I bet you did that right. If you did not, go ahead and make your corrections now. And then I want you to log on to IXL and do this assignment. Lesson, language arts. Make sure when you go into IXL, you are under language arts and do N3. And then after you complete that, I do want you to do a little bit of grammar practice today, just with sentences. I want you to be able to identify a statement. So I want you to do, and it's also under language arts. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll see it says grammar and mechanics. And I want you to do lesson EE-1. So that way we can kind of stay up to date on all of that as well. Just know that you guys are so missed. And I know that we all um, just wish things were back to normal. And we just want you to stay in with your families and have as much fun as you can. Make sure that you're washing your hands a lot and you're keeping a little bit of social distance. And do something fun. I know that my family and I... We ordered a puzzle today, or ordered a puzzle, and it should be in today, so I think we're going to try to put a massive puzzle together over the next few days, but just keep on keeping on. I'm checking IXL, and I want to give a shout out to those that are doing that. We're looking at that, and I'm so proud of you, 